politics can teach us a lot, even if it's mostly on how not to behave. And it pays not to take a politician at face value. On the other hand, it's also vital that we accept the results of free and fair elections, because that's how democracy works. Of course, parties on the campaign trail are a source of endless inspiration for comedians, and the Dingalings found a treasure trove of material in our recent elections. They're endorsing Henry for president, and audiences are voting with their feet. Like its landmarks, Durban has its well-loved cultural institutions, and local comedy fans always look forward to the latest Dingaling production. KZN's popular Dingaling Productions has put together Henry for President, which is a 90-minute political satire and promises to be packed full of laughs. I'm here early to chat to Durban's popular comedians, and I can't wait to find out more. The new show features no fewer than six of Durban's funniest stage personalities, with Rohan Ramkisen, Kupesh Naidu, Henry Ramkisen, Satu Anamale and Senzam Tetwa, directed by Yugen Naidu. Yugen, welcome to Mela. Thank you so much for having us on your program. As one of the founding members of Dinger Links, tell me, how did that start? It all began at a flea market when I met Kamsila and Kubesh, and we'd all gone on our separate ways, in our separate careers, and I said to them, guys, surely we need to bring our art together. Surely if we got together and did some crazy stuff, we can go back to being young and perhaps lose some weight as well. So that's how it all started. Why did you see the need for stand-up comedy all those years ago? People own their stories, and when they come into the theatre, we say the things that they're thinking and that's a wonderful freedom and liberation for our audiences. Do you think political satire is still relevant in today's context? We were a newer type of protest theatre now. Whereas in the past, protest theatre was about the political freedom, now our protest theatre is about all of the isms, the sexism, the feminisms, the racism, the service delivery issues. These are the things that face our people now, and it's such a wonderful opportunity for people to come to a theatre and for us to still share those kind of stories with them. As the writer of the show, do you sometimes feel like you may be taking it a little too far? We are always very mindful of the kind of work that we create, but we want to be provocative and dingalings has, I think, earned itself the name for being able to push the boundaries. Yugen's assessment that audiences have an appetite for politically flavoured comedy was borne out by the ticket sales. People are starting to arrive and I can't wait for what's in store tonight. I'm going to go find my seat. While the fans knew that they could look forward to satire that pulled no punches, they were curious to find out who exactly Henry was and why he should be president. Forward, Henry! Forward, Henry! The horse is bolted! The election's finished. Hey, why you didn't tell me it could be? How can you do that? I wanted to vote, man. <laughs> see, 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 just relax, okay? We just signed, we, we'll register the party for the next election. Oh, for the next election. Senator, welcome to Mela. Tell me about Henry for president. Well, it's a comical view of four friends starting a political party, hoping to make a difference to South Africa with our own set of uh, manifesto. Why is it important to have a political satire in the current climate? Everyone is so highly strung, everyone is so sensitive. So comedy is their way out and their way to let loose. So you forget all about the seriousness of life and you just sit back and relax and let the story entertain you. Having worked with top comedians in the South African space and yourself being one, what is your advice for anyone wanting to move into the comedy space? Make sure you're funny. <laughs> Not to your family funny, but to people in general funny. Because you, you get your family who will prompt and tell you, oh, you're funny, you're great, and then you get on stage and ha. Huh. But I would encourage anyone, if you believe you've got the talent or the skill, put pen to paper, write your material out, test your material with friends, strangers, and right now is the time to be doing comedy in South Africa. And the steps are one, two, three. No, 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 hang on, hang on. You're doing an Indian version of the toy tour. Yes. You, you need to like count in Indian. Okay, uh, what do you have in mind? Hindi. Oh, I can count in Hindi. Okay, count, count, count. Yeah. All right. Ek, to, teen. <laughs> yeah, but that's only for North Indians. What about South Indians? We're counting Telugu. Okati, rendu mudo. Hey, 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 hey. East, West, Tamil is the best. I think ours will be good, right? Already. <laughs> Onru, Irandu Munru, Ta Te Toma. Henry, welcome to Mela. Tell me about Henry for president. It's a satire, basically. We're just taking a bit of a jab at the political spectrum in this country and worldwide. Times are very interesting. 
and entertaining to say the least. You just want to be part of it, don't you? And if our president was sitting in the audience, what do you think he'd say? He'd be fine because he definitely seems like someone who has a sense of humor and he'll be just as thoroughly entertained. We'll sort things out, but, but we're here for a very important reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah what? We're here to meet the soul. This man here is going to tell us how to develop the party, how to move forward. He'll check things out for us nicely. Very good, right. very yeah. good. Kuben, welcome back to Mela. Thank you. Why do you feel that the current climate lends itself to a political satire? As South Africans, we need to be able to see the funny side of our country, the funny side of life, and realize that there is something to laugh at, so that they would see the issues and see the problems and laugh at it and realize, okay, we're laughing at this, but we're actually laughing at ourselves as well. Let's do something about it. And we're hoping that through this theater and through this performance, we're making a change for a better South Africa. What is your advice to anybody that wants to take up the arts as a career? Don't rush it. I think so many of our youngsters want to get that fame very quickly. And it's just to be humble. Don't push it. Really enjoy your performance. And that energy and that commitment will come through and people will love it. Great advice. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. It's your uncle's nephew. That one is Shelvin, right? And uh, he's not very brave to anything. Lazy, lazy fella sweeping in the same spot and staying every day. See the condition of the broom. Yeah. Uncle wants to know if you can't give him one small job. Oh, <laughs> that wouldn't be a problem. What did you have in mind? Like cashier? Uncle is saying no, man. You can give him one small job as a minister. Yeah, I education, education. Minister of Education. Ah. Oh, what? Consider it done. <laughs> Henry for president. Oh, it's quite hilarious. Yeah, outrageous. It's a stress lever. Show is excellent. I have to say, you. I love them. 